Hello everyone, and today I will show you how you can work with your facet. Especially, I will show you how you can create balustrade, uh, how it's created right, and uh, what you can do with this balustrade. So, let's start. And first thing what we're gonna do, we should go to the our ribbon menu. After that, we will create a new, uh, new family. And we will choose the metric uh, wall based let's see where is that generic wall based here it is oh this is fixed model based this one let's open up it and let's go to 3d view and as you see we have something like wall here you cannot delete it because this is our fake wall uh, when we will create our object this will be snapped on this fake wall it means when we will import to our project this family will recognize our walls based on uh, these fake walls so let's create our object and let's see how it's working in our project so the second thing uh, we should go to the our uh, plan let's go to our plan and as you see we have some text like placement side this mean uh, where our object will orientate it. so this means uh, if you want to Oh, so easy uh, to say here will be exterior view so let's create our build uh, our <laughs> building I mean uh, our balustrade but before I will start from extrusion I'll start from the reference plane let's draw one reference plane and the second reference plane so not right let's draw like this uh, this one I want from at center like 500 this one 400 let's create nice that one uh, I will mirror okay and let's do like this uh, now I will uh, use the dimension not from the middle I want from the uh, exterior side of uh, our wall like this and here same no let's do the middle here and overall like this so the middle it will be equal and this one it will be uh, w w1 and let's create instance and this one will be d no it's not will be t1 let's make it t1 thickness okay nice and uh, the second thing now we will create extrusion so let's create extrusion uh, let's connect here here everywhere yes of course you can use chain but I forgot okay nice and the second thing uh, we need uh, select our new object and here the extrusion end uh, let's make for now let's make like 600 now we're going again to create void forms void extrusion and I want to uh, uh, make extrusion uh, let's say like 100 let's make this 100 offset and let's offset it inside like this and for that side I don't need making any uh, offset so let's connect it uh, with our dimension I will put some dimension here here and one more here like this and now let's go to the uh, our elevation view so I think it will be a um, placement side of course it will be a placement side so we are here our placement side uh, let's find uh, our mass one here and second it's here as you see uh, we need now one more uh, reference plane Re let's create it here uh, I need again dimension line from the reference uh, level to this to that level and let's create the new parameter for that uh, dimension it will be d1 and also instance okay and now use command align 
AL or you can click on here just click on this line click on that and lock it and again click on this line let's find let's find our where is it here let's create like this line okay he don't want like this we will use some old principles like this <laughs> done so when we will change our uh, parameter D 250 2050 sorry apply and it will be applied together nice let's go now to 3d view and you will see why I did like that because uh, if you're creating balustrade we should create it right so inside it should be, be um, empty so we are done with our balustrade but one so potent thing material so let's create some material material we can create only the parameter material 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 let's create like this and create the instance material or type but for my reason it will be type material okay and let's load to our project tada here our ball is straight so now I can change the distance maybe it's like 10 meter or you can change uh, whatever you want uh, all our parameters is here you can change it so but now I'll show you the second way how you can create the balustrade uh, of course I'm doing now simple balustrade just missing but you can create whatever you want I will show you next uh, what you can do just with this function okay the next one again let's go to the file let's go to the new family uh, we don't need save now and I need uh, metric generic uh, line based for now uh, here we are this is uh... yes it will be line based I think it will be more uh, more interesting for you. Let's create uh, for, for first. Uh, I need few reference plane like this. One here, one here. Uh, let's create the dimension again like this, and overall dimension. And again, this one will be W one, W one let's make make it also in uh, in uh, instance and that side we no need we already have so just one side okay what the next now we're going to create uh now using the extrusion and i use chain from this side oh rectangular this side to this side so and let's close that all which, uh, let's close this one also okay done now we need to create the void form a bit smaller like this create lock it lock it just a couple of time of escape now I need dimension here dimension here will be 100 and I need dimension also here also 100 and 100 okay now created let's go to 3d view as you see we get something strange like he, like this one so I need make it smaller so here we have the 250 but for that one I need of course 150 150 oh it's too much 150 like this nice um, now I need to try how it's working uh, let's say we want that side yeah it's working so actually it's done also we of course we need the material don't forget material because uh, when you will choose your materials when you need choose your materials you always don't have a, this function just type e type every time material that's it material few 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 steps and done 
and let's uh, load this uh, family to our project and why I used uh, why I showing you this this uh, uh, how to say it uh, this type of the balustrade because you can work on the place like this well, whenever you want maybe you want like this maybe you maybe you want uh, I don't know just one this and one you want like this who knows I don't know your uh, what are you thinking for so you can choose this one and of course you can join it so and you will get something like that yeah this is much um, much more functional but this much more right so you can use two ways uh, for that side also uh, you can create the balustrade if you going oh sorry if you going again to the new family uh, you can create with metric um, face based where is this uh, metric generic model mm, face based but it's pretty sp uh, it's in the between you know it's in between uh, this balustrade and this, this just up to you uh, which you want of course after that you can uh, modify your panel uh, or change something for example you just uh, open your balustrade go to inside the family Mm, let's create something new. Uh, no, something new. Just to, let's update it. Mm, I'll choose my uh, balustrade, uh, edit, and now I maybe I want something like. Um, let's create one reference, level more, and now I'll uh, I will choose that one. Uh, I don't know. Maybe I want like this. And li like this, I uh, using command align. I want align and fixed. Ah, no, no need fixed. Align and this one also want to do align. I uh, using command slice. Now tr that one with that one, that one with that, that one with that one like this yeah maybe like this let's command ok now let's again go inside I want dimension here mm, like let's do like this and um, extrusion one let's make like this let's call it extrusion uh, and yeah ok now let's apply it it will be like this uh, what else I can do? Mm. I don't know. Maybe, maybe like this. Maybe mm, you can create some something else. Uh, let's load to our project. Okay. Uh, let's overwrite it. Just few second and done. And as you see, we can get some shape you can put even inside some uh, other objects uh, like um, some grids maybe just whatever you want uh, by the way uh, these objects also can be joined do like this use the join and join these two object done so you can combine two variation and creating some interesting facade uh, up to you whatever you want so this is about the balustrade this is simple thing uh, how you can create the balustrade how you can create right uh, of course uh, this not uh, high level of the um, creating but you can be or if you interesting of this uh, you can ask me and I will show you more uh, complex uh, how you can use some different families uh, in your facade or you can ask how you can create just uh, send me a picture or uh, uh, just uh, write the name of the building uh, what you're interested for and uh, maybe in next uh, tutorial I will uh, show you how you can create the same facade 
Okay guys, for that, uh, that's it. Uh, thank you and see you the next time.